Carol Vorderman has shown her support for political journalist Ava Evans after she was targeted in a vile verbal attack by Lawrence Fox on GB News. Despite being suspended, Fox insists he stands by every word after the shocking ordeal on Tuesday night Stan Witten Tonight Show. TV watchdogs Ofcom have since confirmed they're looking into the incident after receiving a number of complaints. Bosses revealed they would be publishing their findings as quickly as possible as Evans admitted feeling physically sick in reaction to the clip, which was widely shared online. Countdown star Carol was fighting the reporter's corner, releasing a sweet message of support on X, formerly Twitter. She penned, Please know that all decent people are on your side. We're grateful for your voice. Do not let them bully you. I know only too well how difficult that can be. But we are winning. All of us together. Fox called the correspondent the little woman during the episode alongside host Dan Witten, proceeding to make a gross remark, which is described as totally unacceptable by the TV channel. Taking aim at Ava, Lawrence asked, who'd want to shag that? Ava shared a clip of the shocking moment on Twitter, with the caption, Lawrence Fox just did a whole speech on GB News on why men apparently won't shag me? Which has been viewed more than 6 million times, later adding, I feel physically sick. Speaking to host Dan, Lawrence said, show me a single self-respecting man that would like to climb into bed with that woman ever, ever, who wasn't an incel. We need powerful, strong amazing women who make great points for themselves. We don't need these sort of feminist 4.0. They're pathetic and embarrassing. Who'd want to shag that? As both Lawrence and Dan laughed, the former actor added, Sorry, it's true though. Dan then remarked, I'm just going to provide a touch of balance from her because she did actually respond to this earlier today, saying that she regretted her comments, but she didn't apologize. So there you go. And she's a very beautiful woman Lawrence, very beautiful. The discussion came after Ava appeared on BBC's Politics Live on Monday. After her appearance, she said, I was a little rash on my anti-minister for men comments which I do regret and am actually very interested in a brief for a minister on young men's mental health. In a statement, GB News said, comments made tonight on GB News by Lawrence Fox were totally unacceptable. What he said does not reflect our values and we apologize unreservedly for the comments and the offense they have caused. We have launched an investigation and will be apologizing to the individual involved. After his comments sparked outrage, Fox has since broken his silence, saying he stands by every word of what I said. He added, it's called free speech. I realize that the new woke world is low on laughter and high on offense, but it's still worth trying to find the lighter moments in this joyless new cancel culture which has been created for us. So if you are expecting a groveling apology, I suggest you don't hold your breath. I won't ever apologize to the mob. Have a lovely day. In this self-censoring world, speak your mind. Live strong and free, he added on Wednesday. GB News host Dan has since issued an apology on the social media platform admitting his reaction was unacceptable after viewers noted he appeared to be smirking. He said, I want to reiterate my regret over last night's exchange with Lawrence on GB News. Having looked at the footage, I can see how inappropriate my reaction to his totally unacceptable remarks appears to be and want to be clear that I was in no way amused by the comments. 
I reacted as I did out of shock and surprise in an off-guard moment while working out how to respond as he continued to speak by searching for tweets Ateva Santina had sent earlier in the day while having them read out in my ear at the same time. However, I should have intervened immediately to challenge offensive and misogynistic remarks. I apologize unreservedly for what was a very unfortunate lapse in judgment on my part under the intense pressure of a bizarre exchange. I know I should have done better. I'm devastated that I let down the team and our supportive GBN family. We seek to tackle the issue and not the person, which I intend to stress again on air tonight. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. Thank you.